This video covers the general techniques used for hand collection of adult mosquitoes. These techniques can be used for human landing collection and indoor or outdoor resting collection. Depending on the vector species being monitored, there might be slight variations in the techniques described in this video. In general, collections of adult mosquitoes are performed to Determine the species present in various locations and their relative density. Identify vector species. Evaluate the impact of control measures. Study mosquito biting and resting behavior for the design and evaluation of control measures. Assess seasonal behavior changes. Perform susceptibility tests. Determine sporozoite rate and vectorial capacity and to perform insecticide efficacy tests on long-lasting insecticidal nets and on walls. Adult mosquito collections are usually performed by a team of trained people working closely with communities, health workers, and laboratory staff involved in the prevention and control of mosquito-borne diseases. Make sure the mosquito collectors have access to anti-malarial medication, including prophylaxis, and access to health services in the unlikely event that they become ill, in addition to signing a consent form. Since adult mosquito collection is normally done in and around houses of a community, it is essential to establish and maintain good relations with households, village leaders, and other members of the community. Household leaders should provide informed consent to authorize the collections within their homes. Priority locations, or entomological surveillance sites, should be established by the National Vector Control Programs, taking into account the number of malaria cases, previously used vector control interventions, and available resources. Different mosquito species have different feeding habits that determine the most appropriate collection sites. Be aware of the different species that can be found in an area before planning your collection. In general, most adult Anopheline mosquitoes are active at night or at dusk and dawn and rest in cool, damp places during the day. Blood feeding is largely restricted to warm-blooded animals. Females bite humans and animals inside or outside houses. They normally fly within one to three kilometers from their larval habitats, although some have been observed to fly farther. Culex females mainly bite at night. Many species feed on humans and other mammals. Some species are known to feed on birds, and some are known to feed on amphibians and reptiles. Female Aedes mosquitoes, such as Aedes aegypti or Aedes albopictus, are primarily day biters and prefer to bite humans as they enter their homes or workplaces. During hand collection, both male and female mosquitoes and different mosquito species can be collected. Male and female can be separated from each other and identified taxonomically later on. The main tool used to collect mosquitoes by hand is the aspirator. A sucking tube, or aspirator, can be made locally using a transparent plastic or glass tube, a disc of wire mesh, a piece of rubber or plastic tubing, and a plastic mouthpiece. Aspirators are used to collect and transfer mosquitoes to holding containers. Mosquito collection can occur during the day or at night. If planning to collect mosquitoes in the evening, make sure to have a flashlight to assist in finding mosquitoes. Cups made of unwaxed paper, plastic, or styrofoam are suitable containers for holding and transporting live mosquitoes. A collection cup is made using an unwaxed paper or plastic cup, a piece of mosquito netting with a hole for insertion of the sucking tube, a rubber band, and a piece of cotton wool as a stopper. A cardboard box or an insulated box is useful in transporting captured mosquitoes. Human landing collection involves teams of trained people sitting indoors and outdoors, collecting mosquitoes off themselves and off each other with a sucking tube or test tube as the mosquitoes attempt to bite. 
Mosquitoes should not be allowed to bite or feed on the collector before they are captured. To reduce the risk of being bitten, it is usually sufficient to expose one leg. Human landing collection helps to answer the following. Which Anopheline mosquitoes bite humans? Which species are vectors of malaria? How often a person may be potentially bitten by a vector? What is the biting pattern during the night? Collections are made either throughout the night from 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. or part of the night, and indoors or outdoors depending on the study objective and sleeping patterns of the community studied. Collectors typically expose their legs up to the knee to serve as bait and sit in pairs so that they can collect landed mosquitoes off themselves or off each other. Once the collector feels a mosquito landing, the torch is quickly turned on and the mosquito captured. Data on resting mosquitoes are important to determine the species that habitually rests outdoors or indoors, calculate the density of mosquitoes resting outdoors or indoors, determine the seasonal changes in outdoor or indoor resting habitats, determine the changes in the relative numbers of mosquitoes resting outdoors or indoors following the application of insecticides inside the house. When collecting mosquitoes using the aspirator, Proceed as follows. Hold the sucking tube with its opening one to two centimeters away from the mosquito. Move the end of the sucking tube closer to the mosquito and at the same time, suck gently but quickly to draw the mosquito into the tube. Place your finger over the tube to prevent the mosquito from escaping. Quickly put the tube into the hole of the paper cup and blow gently into the mouthpiece so as to transfer the mosquito to the paper cup. No more than five mosquitoes should be collected in the sucking tube before transferring to a paper cup. For better conservation, avoid storing more than 20 mosquitoes per cup. Aspirators can be used for human landing collection and indoor or outdoor resting collection. Depending on the type of information desired, you can also use mechanical aspirators or handheld nets. Be sure that all paper cups are labeled with location, placement of collector, date and time of collection, whether the structure was sprayed, and date of last spray, house number or name of head of household and name of collector. Use a separate cup for each house, for each hour, and for each location, indoors or outdoors, collected. As you collect, you should give each collection place a number in your notebook. Mosquitoes can be kept alive for 24 hours. To keep adult mosquitoes alive and prepare them for transportation to the lab, take the following steps. Place cups holding mosquitoes upright in a deep tray using a cardboard box or preferably an insulated box. Cover the cups with damp cotton wool. A 10% sugar solution can be added to the cotton wool to feed the mosquitoes. Cover the cups with a damp towel. Keep the towel damp until the mosquitoes reach the laboratory. You have now seen an overview of how to hand collect adult mosquitoes. As with any methodology, practice is needed to improve technique and develop a reliable collection methodology. For more information on integrated vector management or training materials, please visit our website.